I'm getting my fillets ready. Look how big this thing is. That was a big mutton. <laughs> this thing is huge. What you got, bacon and mutton? I'm thinking of mutton. Hopefully mutton number two. Probably right around 18, 20 inches. Hey, and four! Definitely not 20 inches, but. Nice. Hi, Bee. Come here, keeper. Do you just sling him over the side, or are you? No, yeah. Depends. We're at the mono. Oh, that's a nice mutton. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we came Woo! for! It's a freaking stud. Oh, I'm near me. Blown out. Oh, yeah. man. Good work, bro. Yeah, yeah. Good nice work. Nice one. Damn. Mutton number three. That's a real mutton. That's what we came for. for. That is exactly what we came here for. Yeah, bro. The mini mutton hole. Oh, mini mutton. Mutton. Oh, Little around. mutton on the butterfly jig. Nice. Reel it. Nice one. Nice one. Hell yeah. Woo. Nice. On the jig. Nice yeah, one. Yeah. Oh yeah, Vic. He's got a big one on. Big muffin. Oh, nice. oh, aggressive. Oh, you got a nice one. Oh, but you got a nice one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fart! Oh, fart! Oh, fart! Big one! On the deck, son. Boom! Woo! Nice one! <laughs> yeah! My girl's doubled up. You good, girl. You got a nice one, don't you, bro? That girl's gone wild. <laughs> Dave's got a nice one on. Marking it. Alright, Vic, I'm at mono. Like, I'm not too sure of the braces, but like, it's What? Tell me when you're at the mono. I am. Oh, you're at the mono? I just said Vic, I'm not at the mono. Let's move this guy out of the way. Is it recording? Yeah, I think so. it's red. Is it blinking red? Yeah. Okay. Muffin. Pretty one, Brooke. Is this getting hit? Woo! Came down to catch the muttons, and we're doing a good job. <laughs> Oh yeah. Could you catch? <laughs> it's catch and cook. Catch and cook. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So we had an absolutely insane day of fishing in the Keys. We mutton fish and it was incredible. We caught like 15 keeper muttons. We caught three red groupers, a black grouper, a giant amberjack, a giant African pompano. We caught some dolphin. It was just great. We had great people. We had great weather, which the weather was actually supposed to was a hundred percent chance of rain and didn't rain at all so that was awesome so let's get to cooking i have been craving parmesan coated mutton forever so that's what i'm gonna make tonight and i'm also gonna make um pasta with pesto sauce and then some garlic bread so let me show you what you need got this nice loaf of fresh french bread for my seasonings i have paprika parsley salt and pepper and then here's my nice fillets they look awesome. They're kind of thick, but I think they're gonna be okay. I got some penny pasta, Italian pine nuts, some heavy whipping cream, extra virgin olive oil, some Parmesan cheese that I'm gonna grate, some garlic, and a bunch of basil. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grate this cheese because that's gonna be my coating for the fish. And I have it nice and thin, so it's gonna 
Go on the fish nice and easy, not fall off. So I got my cheese grated, Victor did that for me, so thanks Vic. <laughs> I'm going to now season it a little bit. I'm gonna do some salt, pepper, paprika, and then parsley. I'm also putting oil on the fish and then dipping it into the cheese and that's all I'm doing and then it's going in the oven, which I have the oven preheating at 400 degrees. So to just make it easier, I'm just gonna pour some oil in this pan. So I have all my fish breaded, they fit on the pan perfectly, and whatever cheese I have left, I'm just gonna sprinkle on top of them. All right, so now I'm gonna work on my pesto, and I'm gonna use my magic bullet, and I got some fresh basil here. I'm just gonna fill up, take the stems off. I'm gonna put in two garlic cloves. I'm kinda just winging this, so I'm gonna go for like a handful of pine nuts. Some olive oil. Plug this bad boy in. Okay, definitely adding a little bit of water. All right, so I'm adding some more basil. I only did half my basil so that it would um, mix well. Also going to add some more pine nuts. And I added a little more water. This is my pesto consistency, and I'm gonna add a little bit of that fresh grated cheese in there. And then mix it back up again. All right, so I'm putting my fish in. I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes and then check them after that. So in this pan, I have some hot oil that I'm gonna add my pesto to, and I just wanna heat up my pesto. I want to heat it up before I add the cream to it so I can make my cream sauce for the pasta. So my pesto is hot and I'm going to add some heavy cream to it. I'm adding some salt and pepper to my pesto cream sauce. For my bread, I have some olive oil on there, and now I'm gonna add some butter, and then I'm gonna put some minced garlic on top. Fish have been in for 15 minutes, and they're fully cooked through. I checked with a fork, and they look amazing. and some of the pasta water to my sauce. So we have like this thick sauce going on and it tastes really good.
is the finished product. My pesto pasta and my parmesan coated mutton snapper. Looks so good, I can't wait to try it. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. So what do you think? Amazing. Yeah? Absolutely delicious. But mutton snapper is probably one of my favorite fish. It's just the perfect texture and Mom, what do you think? Awesome. Good? So Vic, what do you think? I think I'm eating my favorite fish made by my favorite person and it's very good. Aww, the texture of mutton snapper, like Brian said, is just it's the best textured fish in my opinion. And Brooke did a really good job. It's not really fit it's not it's not fishy at all. It's not uh, cheesy. You'd think that with all that Parmesan cheese it'd be really cheesy. It just it's moist and good and perfect job. Good job, babe. Jed, <laughs> how about you? What do you think? It's fire. It's uh, moist and flaky the way, perfect way it's supposed to be. It's real good. So that was my first time making that. I think it was a success. I'll definitely try it again. <laughs>